And we were also talking what struck us watching the documentary is what you got away with. It's like you never asked for permits to shoot anywhere. So you would fire rifles and machine guns off the Chrysler building. And there was uh, one of your movies where Fred Williamson gets into a a gunfight at an actual airport. Now, how how you... everybody? (laughs) How you were never shot or or in jail for life for those You You got away with a lot. Well, there's also that scene. Is it Black Caesar where you shoot Fred? Where Fred Williamson shot in the street and he's staggering through the street right and you're front, shooting from the roof? Right, right, right in front of Trump Tower. Yeah, what is now Trump Tower? Right, yeah, right in that corner, 57th Street, and and we and we and I had a one of my cohorts dressed as a cop to stop traffic on Fifth Avenue. So we just closed Fifth Avenue down and shot the scene. <laughs> we just closed it down. It's amazing. You see- Years later, when I when I went to uh, Washington D.C. to shoot the private files of J. Edgar Hoover, I I got all these old cars. I called a, a car club over in Maryland, and they were delighted to supply me with forty old cars and people driving them in costume, free of charge. Uh, so I said, "How am I going to have all these old cars on Pennsylvania Avenue going in front of the White House towards the Capitol?" When there's going to be modern cars on the street, too. The only way to do it is to close down Pennsylvania Avenue. So fortunately, they had these wooden horses stacked up on the sidewalks for parades and things. So I told our guys, just take the wooden horses and close down Pennsylvania Avenue, (laughs) which we did. Can you believe doing this today with terrorists and everything? No. So now uh, Pennsylvania uh, uh, Avenue uh, is closed down, and I got 40 old cars driving up and down the street, and here comes the police, and I wave to them, and they wave back. Hi there. How are you? And they keep going. No one would assume anybody would do this without permission, so they didn't think twice about it, just like when we shot at the St. Patrick's Day Parade and had Andy Kaufman oh, and God told shooting me to. off a gun in the middle of the parade. Right, yeah. right. Uh, uh, there were 5,000 cops there, and everybody was smiling. They didn't imagine knowing anybody would do this without having permission, so they, nobody bothered us. You know, that's the great thing is if you do something that's so outlandish, everybody thinks it's okay because nobody would do that, you know. So yeah. You are hiring actual gang members. Yeah. I th- well, I'll tell you what happened there. We went up to Harlem to shoot the picture of Black Caesar, First day up in Harlem, and they had just had a movie up there called Across 110th Street with oh, Anthony yeah. Quinn. And, and it was a big budget Hollywood picture. And they went up there with trailers and dressing rooms. And anyway, they got shaken down by the gangsters up there who made them pay a penalty for every street they wanted to shoot on. So when I got up there with my little crew, they came over to me, these guys, and says, you can't shoot here unless you pay us. And I didn't have any money to pay them. So I looked at him and I says, hey, can you guys act? You guys would be great in the movie playing Fred Williamson's sidekicks. So we hired the guys who were trying to shake me down and made the, <laughs> put them in the movie. <laughs> and after that, we owned Harlem. Any place we went, any place we went that anybody tried to stop us, these gangsters stepped into view and the people just backed off and went away. That's all, you know. We, got, we, owned, we owned Harlem. <laughs> And when the picture opened on Broadway at the Cinerama Theater, these these black gangsters, their pictures were in the poster. And they were standing in front of the Cinerama Theater signing. Hilarious. <laughs>